<laughs> well, this is awkward. What's going on, YouTube family? Noah from Kicking Their Bass TV here with another video, and it is Tackle Tuesdays number four. I am really loud, and I'm not on drugs, guys. Stop commenting that in the Q&A, because I'm not going to answer that. So today's Tackle Tuesday video is over hard body swim baits, guys. Um, Tackle Tuesday number four, and as you can tell, there's not too many boxes of swim baits right here. There's only one box. And um, for the most part, it is because I picked out the best quality ones that we have, the best ones that I seem to catch fish on, and that's going to help you guys um, pick out the right swim baits to fish the right baits on the water and have a good productive day. Um, also, I mean, they're pretty dang expensive. They can range from 15 bucks all the way to freaking 80, 100 bucks. I mean, it takes your freaking wallet, you, you freaking light a match. And you freaking light that thing on fire, and I mean that's pretty much what it does. Um, that was unnecessary. That's pretty much what it does. It burns a hole in your freaking wall. It's it's, it's crazy. So um, let's go ahead and hop into um, some of my favorite ones. Um, the first one that I really like, and this is one of my favorites. Um, I probably have two favorites. I can't really layer it down to one, but this is the Seville Magic Swimmer. And this one is white. Um, it's really nice swim bait. It's the double jointed one. It has really good live like action. And I cannot really show you guys perfectly until you see this thing in the water. It's phenomenal action. And um, we own so many of these. Half of the swim baits in this box are just this one. It's just in different colors. Um, really great swim bait. Those spots on Lake Lanier will tear it up. Um, you're running these, you're throwing it out there, you're running your Evo rocket, your um, 9 gear ratio reel, and you're steaming that thing and it's coming at the top of the water going crazy and those spots are just whacking it five foot out of the water. It is insane, guys. They will just tear this thing up. So if you guys are looking for a great swim bait, and the other good thing about this bait is, is around $20, guys, and that is really great for a swim bait. You're not going to find too many swim baits that are under $20, so... You can get one for around $20 price range because um, I know you guys go to your tackle shops and you see those bull shads and um, all those other swim baits that are around $50 to $100 are really um, paying in the detail and everything. Um, which, yeah, I'm sure it helps a lot. I mean, they look really realistic. They look really great. But for the price of the Seville bait right here, you can't go wrong with it. Um, it's just really great bait. Jumping on to one of the big mama baits. Um, that's one of the Savage swim baits. Um, really, really, really big bait. And this one's mainly designed for striper. Um, this one's white and it has a bill, so it's a little deep diving um, swim bait. It's not deep diving, but it digs deeper into the water, so it's not directly at the surface. So depending on where the fish are located, if they're a little under the surface or if they're more at the top, or if you're just trying to make racket, tie on that bill and just hold your pole up and steam that thing where it's kicking across the top of the water, depending on how aggressive the fish are that you're fishing for. So that's another one. Another great um, swim bait. Um, so jumping in to my second favorite, or I guess you could say my favorite, is pretty much tied with the Sibyl. This is the Swarming Hornet Lures um, swim bait right here. This is the Bite Size Herring. This one's really great. What I really like about this is it has the little soft plastic tail on it. Really live-like action. So when that bait's kicking through the water, that tail is just going crazy. Um, it gives a lot of action for the fish. It's a lot of um, the fish is zone in on that bait and just destroy it. Um, there's a little bit of scratches on this because we've just tore those bass up on it, especially those spotted bass. It's so aggressive. And you're fishing those brush piles and stuff. You're steaming those things over it and they're just whacking them. Um, really great swim bait as well. This one has a little more action. Um, but this and the Sibyl are definitely my top two favorites. Um, I have tons of colors that I will throw up on the screen of the Sibyl and the Swarm and Hornet Lure one. Um, right here, we have Swarm and Hornet Lures and the Sibyl swim bait, but these are actually in smaller versions. So if you're wanting to go fish little ponds or something, 
and you're trying to um, imitate those little bluegill, um, little sunfish, um, those are really great right here. Um, I really, really, really like that one right there. That's the fun size herring by Swarming Horn Lures. Um, definitely go check these out. And these price range are around $40, which they have a, um, more detailed than the Sibyl. Um, they are hand painted, so they're really high quality. Um, great base as well. So if you're if you're a little under the price range, you're wanting to get that lower price range, Sibyl would probably be better for you. But if you're really wanting that super high quality swim bait, that's still in a great price range, definitely hit up the Swarming Hornet um, bite size herring. It's a really great bait. Got plenty of colors in that one. Also from Seville. I got this big old honker right here of a bait. Um, that's the big magic swimmer. Um, really, really, really big swim bait. And um, later on in the video, I'm going to talk about the rod and reel combo I use. But so, um, for just these regular swim baits right here, I'll just use a regular heavy um, action rod. But if I'm throwing something like this, I'm definitely using a designated 710 um, heavy power rod. So it's a really big stiff meat stick for a big type of swim bait like that. Also, here's one of those uh, magic swimmers right here. Except this is, as you guys saw in some of the crankbait videos, we had some of those custom painted baits. And this is um, one of them right here that's in the custom color. Really, really great looking paint job on that bait. Um, phenomenal. That's really good on linear, just depending on what they're biting on. If they're biting more of a shad white color or if they're biting the white, um, the pearl type of colors. And here's the last model of swim bait that I'm going to be showing you guys. Today, we had about four different models. Um, and this one is just a little spro. And this one has a lot of great live-like action. I really like this bait. And um, I really recommend it for you pond fishermen out there. Um, definitely try this, guys. If you, if you do fish a lot of ponds with a lot of big bass, definitely go pick yourself up one of these little swim baits like this. Because it's pretty, you can get a different color pattern, um, like the bluegill color patterns. But definitely go pick up one of these, because um, you're imitating the sunfish, the bluegill. Um, say they're on beds, and I mean they will just tear this thing up. So next time you go to a pond, definitely take yourself one of these. If you know there's some decent sized bass in there, and they will just munch this thing up. Um, really great swim bait as well. So that's pretty much the styles. We got the spro right here. Got the big honker. Um, it's a little deep diving one, deeper diving swim bait, that's a savage one. You got the bite size herring, which is one of my favorites, but Swarming Hornet Lures, really great bait, hand painted. And then we have the Sibyl, um, right there. That's the Magic Swimmer, really great bait as well. And then we have the all different sizes, um, from the little small two and a half inch Sibyl bait. Um, the three inch to build baits, the little bite sized herring, um, then we have the big old to build baits, all those type of swim baits in all different colors. And now let's talk about conditions on when to fish the certain colors, guys. Most of the time when I'm fishing, I'm on Lanier, most of the time when I'm fishing them, I'm fishing them over brush piles, um, and I'm steaming those things over brush. Um, absolutely ripping them and I'm using a Revo rocket most of you guys aren't gonna be using a 9 to 1 gear ratio reel but that's what I'm using and I'm still steaming that bait I'm trying to get those fish attention I'm trying to piss them off I want them to eat that bait um, they're chasing those shad at the surface and everything you throw your big old swim bait in there and you're steaming at the top of the water and then you smash it um, and a lot of the times color is gonna be key guys for an example I have this natural color bite size herring right here. And then I have this white bite size herring. Say it's more of sunny and it's going to be reflecting off the bait. I would most likely choose this more natural color. Which it all depends, guys. If that may not be the case that day. But for the most part, on a sunny day, I'm going to want a more of a natural color. 
if it's more of cloudy and overcast I do like a white bait um, white bait does work good um, when you're fishing in the sunlight um, when the heat is just bearing down on the water the sun is breaking through the white is good as well but for the most part sunny cloudy that's been the most productive for me not just the swim baits with top waters with jerk baits all types of other baits that are going to be at the surface where the fish are going to see it um so now let's jump into the rod and reel combo the reel that i have it on is just a regular revo sx and this is a really great reel for you bass fishermen saying i'm in a price range of 100 to 150 bucks definitely check out the revo sx it's a really great reel and I do have some braided line which is spider wire on this reel on the rod is a legend extreme and this one is a heavy power rod um, this is going to be the one for your more medium size to regular size swim baits that you're going to want to throw if I want to be throwing a big old honker swim bait like this one I'm probably going to want to throw my designated um, swim bait rod and I've actually been throwing frogs on that rod as well. It's a 710, um, I believe a 710 rod, and it's a big meat stick, guys, big thick rod, um, really good for the swim baits. Um, so if you're catching those big bass, and also you're gonna get a lot of striper and stuff on it as well. Um, but for the most part, I do like a little lighter rod. I mean, yes, this is a heavy rod, um, but this is one of the slimmer versions, it's not the big meat stick. I do like something that I can cast um, decent and I can have control over the bait where it's not just like a solid freaking meat stick you know where it's not gonna the tips not gonna bend at all um, so this is a really great rod and this is um, fast action so you're gonna have that tip and you're gonna have that accuracy you need to get your bait in the place that you want it to be so yeah guys that's the swim baits that I would recommend that's the swim baits that we own we do have some more um, hard body swim baits, but I did not want to show those. I wanted to show you guys the ones that you guys are going to want to go buy. You guys are going to want to go fish to um, be most productive on the water. So I hope you guys got some good information out of this video. If you did, please leave a comment below. I want you guys to comment. I want you guys to like the video. I want you guys to share the video. I want you guys to subscribe if you haven't already. The support means so much, guys. And when you guys comment, I read every single one of your comments, guys. I read every single one. Um, sometimes I'm really busy and I can't reply to them at the moment, but I guarantee you most of the comments on my news, all of my, all of the comments on my newest videos, I have read and I read those and I remember those guys. When I see, um, I believe his name's Team Waggy, when he comments on my videos, I, I remember that name. I mean, I'm pretty sure I said that right. I remember that name. I'm gonna go back and I, I remember all his comments, man. I stored in my brain. When you guys say good job on the videos, I remember that. And I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Um, another thing about the giveaways, I have um, the rod giveaway that I am going to be announcing the winner soon. I'm sorry about that, guys. I've been really busy. Um, haven't been able to make all the names out, which is going to be a lot of work. But I'm going to get out to you guys, I promise. And the kicking their ass baits. Um, baits in the hat and decals and everything and t-shirt that giveaway will be launched I'll probably do the drawing at the same time at the rod giveaway and also what all you guys have been waiting for the GoPro giveaway um, once I hit 6,500 subscribers I'm at 6,100 right now so it is launching guys it is blowing up my channel is going crazy and I cannot thank you guys enough you guys are awesome I'm ranging between 30 to 75 subscribers a day so we're gonna hit that GoPro giveaway we're gonna launch full force at it we're gonna hit that 6500 goal soon and i cannot thank you guys enough um and the channel is just going to keep on growing from here guys and I, I would not be here without your support so i hope you guys enjoyed tackle tuesday number four hard body swim baits if you like the video give it a thumbs up please comment below what you think see you guys next time